I'm not only going to show you how to build a floating shelf. I'm going to show you how to build eight different floating shelves. Let's go to my man cave. Here's the first DIY floating shelf. This one I'm calling level one basic floating shelf. I do have these two off-cut pieces of pine timber I'm going to be using to build these floating shelves. I'm going to be giving you my sizes, but obviously you can build this according to your need. be fastening these floating shelves to the wall is with this steel L brackets I bought from my local hardware store where the brackets are going to be fastened against the wall at the back of your floating shelf you want to be marking out exactly where the bracket is going to be then you want to be cutting out a small insert the thickness of your bracket like this My inserts has been cut. Now my floating shelf will sit flush against the wall. How am I going to transfer my measurements from my bracket to my wall? Easy. Take any large object, place it over your brackets. Mark on your object exactly where you want to drill the holes on the wall. Now transfer your measurements to your wall like this. So my two brackets has been installed, now I'm just going to fasten my floating shelf from the top. Stick around until the end of this video because my favorite two floating shelves will be at the end. The next floating shelf I'm calling level two industrial floating shelf. This one is quite easy. You can find these pipe fittings at the plumbing section at your local hardware store. Let's install. Remember to install end cappings. The third floating shelf is an add to my industrial floating shelf. I'm calling this one level 3 industrial floating shelf version 2. I'm using the same concept, I'm just adding a 90 degree bend with another bracket on top, like this. Let's move on to the next floating shelf. At fourth place, I'm calling this one level four, the bungee floating shelf. Now this is a fun and exciting floating shelf. You go and buy a rope from your local hardware store. Mine is 12 millimeter thick. Thus, I'm going to use a 13 millimeter drill bit to drill four holes in each corners of my floating shelf, like this. So 
So if you are new to this channel and you want to learn how to build stuff like this, like this video, subscribe and hit the ring bell button. So let's move on to the next floating shelf. At number five, I've got the box floating shelf. I've got four pieces of plywood. Now let's build a box. Okay guys, the box is done. I'm going to use the same L brackets as the first floating shelf I showed you. I forgot to show you the L bracket. It's got four holes on each side, if you were wondering. Now I'm just using small screws to screw my box against my brackets. Moving on to the next shelf, at number 6, we've got the box floating shelf version 2. The idea is to make a hidden storage box. It looks like a floating shelf, but at the end of the day, I'm going to build this that it's got a hinged door. Now I'm gonna install a door magnet. So when the door is closed, it's gonna stay closed. Finally, one of my favorite floating shelves. At number seven, this box I'm calling Iron Man floating shelf. The steel I'm using is a 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter square tubing. You can ask your local hardware store to cut the steel for you already to size. You're gonna need the following size. Eight times 400, two times 200, two times 300. We won't be doing any welding for this project. You can ask your local hardware store for connection blocks. This is gonna create our corner on our steel. The first square steel block we're gonna build is the 400 by 400 steel block. The second block we're gonna build is 400 by 300. <laughs> the last block we're gonna build is 400 by 200. our three blocks. Now we need to install the bracket that's gonna hold the wood. We're going to use the same L bracket as we used before. Now all of the brackets needs to sit at the same height. To screw your brackets against your steel, you can use a normal steel tech screw. The wood I'm going to be using is a 16 millimeter plywood. You're going to need the following sizes. 200, 400, 300. 
When you want to be fastening your wood against your bracket, you want it to sit exactly in the middle, like this. I'm using small chipboard screws. I'm going to screw the wood against the bracket from the underside. There we go, this is how it's gonna look. The bracket we're going to be using to install my frame against the wall, we're going to be using an L steel bracket, 40 millimeters by 100 millimeters. Are you ready to see the final product this is truly one of the best floating shelves you will ever find this is my last floating shelf and this one i'm calling best in the world never seen before just as handsome as myself the gregermeister floating shelf You will be needing the following for the final build. 1.2 meters long pine timber, 800 centimeters of pine timber, 210 centimeters of pine timber, pipe fitting with the two brackets you can find at your local hardware store at the plumbing section. Two of them. Let's build. Just as the first floating shelf, we're going to be fastened the final floating shelf the same way. We're starting off with a small piece of wood, 210 millimeters. This is your bottom piece of your floating shelf, 200 mils from the side. We're going to fasten the smaller piece to the bigger piece. Now that my smaller piece has been fastened, we need to mark exactly where the pipe fitting is going to be. I want the top piece of pine to have a small overhang on one of the sides. Now we can fasten our top piece of pine to our pipe fittings and to our shorter piece of pine. That's all for today guys, thanks for watching, let me know in the comments below which of the 8 floating shelf I built was your favorite. Before you go, make sure you subscribe, like, hit the ring bell button. So all of these brackets... At the back of at the back of your floating shelf at the back of your at the back of your at the back of your floating shelf